Miss Tanli Ming, 35, has lived her whole life in the Katongju Chai neighborhood, an area commonly associated with Paranokan culture and heritage. While she was always curious about the history that surrounded her, it was not until the avid traveler was exposed to the many different cultures of the countries she had visited that she developed a strong desire to learn and tell others about the neighborhood she grew up in. The COVID-19 pandemic presented an opportunity. Ms. Tan, an associate scientist who analyzes satellite images at the National University of Singapore, created an Instagram account, The Katong. Jukia to showcase the neighborhood's businesses and draw customers to them amid bands on dining in. But she wanted to do more. So she responded to an open call by the National Heritage Board NHB for volunteers to get involved in the board's new Heritage Activation Notes initiative, which seeks to involve community partners in celebrating the heritage of Singapore's neighborhoods. Come April 20th, Ms. Tan will be among 122 volunteers helping to run a two-day festival comprising 29 programs that will mark the launch of the first note, which will be at Kotongju Chayat. Another note will be launched in Clementi later in 2024. NHB is in the process of identifying the remaining two notes to be established in 2025. Each node will showcase a neighborhood's heritage through three avenues, spaces, such as heritage markers and pop-up installations, programs, such as guided trails and workshops, and heritage champions, which include volunteers, such as Ms. Tan, who will organize and execute community-driven programs. Mr. Alvin Tan, NHB's Deputy, Chief Executive for Policy and Community, said that through the notes, the board hopes to grow its network of community partners island-wide and encourage community ownership of heritage initiatives. To that end, a public call for collaboration project ideas for Katongju Chayat will be held alongside the launch of the neighborhood's note on April 20. Such collaborations could include exhibitions, talks, murals and artwork installations, and will be assessed for NHBE, funding of up to $6,000 per project based on factors such as the project's ability to present the neighborhood's heritage to new audiences and through innovative means. Mr. Tan said that up to five projects will be funded under the first public call with subsequent calls for collaboration to be launched should there be strong public interest in initiating projects. One of the highlights of the two-day festival is an intercultural food program by Ground Up Initiative Say a Story and Nonia Dumpling Store Kim Chu K. Chung, which explores the similarities and differences between Nonia Dumplings and Aram Aram, an Indonesian rice cake normally wrapped in banana leaves. Referencing Say a Story's goal to build ties between Singaporeans and migrant domestic workers, Kim Chu K. Chung Director Edmund Wong. 41. Noted that Singapore has always largely comprised a migrant society. He said that using leaves to cook is a common concept in this region, although various types are used, banana, bamboo and pandan. Although the ingredients may be different, rather than focus on the differences, I think the better position to take is to explore the cultural common ground and the similarities we share as Southeast Asians. He said, Festival goers can also look forward to a dance performance by the Paranokan Indian Chiti Malacca Association of Singapore that features a blend of Malay, Chinese and Indian dance traditions. As well as tours and games, and Top Panjang, the festival's finale event that includes a Paranokan feast, community performances and dancing. Mr. Tang said neighbourhoods, selected by NHBE, to be heritage activation notes generally meet several criteria, such as the presence of suitable and accessible spaces for heritage programs and, most importantly, whether there are community groups to partner the board and spearhead programs. Neighborhoods in which NHB does not have a presence through its museums or institutions 
are also prioritized. For the Katongju Chayat Note, Ketong Culture, an interest group established by the Ju Chayat Community Club Management Committee in January 2023, was selected as NHB's anchor partner. Founder Gavin Chon, 39th, said the group's work has been boosted with NHB's support, particularly in developing volunteer skills through workshops, such as programs on tour guiding that Ms. Tan attended. As well as increasing the group's pool of volunteers beyond Kotongju Chayat residents. The culture and history of Kotongju Chayat transcend geographical boundaries. It is of shared interest to the whole of Singapore because the area represents a culture you don't necessarily find elsewhere, said Mr. Chan. About two thirds of the 122 volunteers who will help out at the launch festival are not residents of the area, he said. Mr. Tan said 15 briefing and training sessions have been conducted since December 2023 to prepare volunteers for their involvement in the Heritage Notes. Beyond the festival, Mr. Chan said, Ketong Culture is looking to stage more community art creation programs, as well as document more of the area's sites and culture. Mr. Tan said NHB's support for the note in Kotongju Chayat. And the other notes to be launched will last till 2027 when the board's ongoing five-year RSG Heritage Plan 2.0 ends. Further support will depend on the outcomes of engagement with community partners then. He added. Mr. Wong said the neighborhood's community groups and businesses like Kim Chu Kei Chang have got on Royong communal help, and we all put in our own efforts to make Kotongju Chayat a vibrant place. Recalling that Ju Chayat was in 2011 named Singapore's first heritage town by NHB, which came with $100,000 to develop heritage activities, Mr. Wong said old and new initiatives such as the Heritage Activation Notes give us this understanding that we are not doing this by ourselves. We have support from various government agencies and various stakeholders will see this and want to be involved, he added. The Heritage Activation Note platform is like a lighthouse. It gives us a channel to showcase our abilities and calls out to others to join us on this journey.